Hello everyone, in this short video, we are going to do a very quick uh, proof to show that cosine x equals x has a solution. So let's just jump right into it right away. So let's start with a quick picture here just to see uh, what's going on. So cosine of zero is one, cosine of pi over two is zero. So cosine looks like that. And then here's y equals x. So yeah, so basically, yeah, it has a solution, and here is the solution. So we have to basically show that this number exists. This is called a fixed point, by the way. All right, so to do that, I'm thinking we can use the intermediate value theorem. So I'm going to start by uh, subtracting cosine x from both sides. So we have x minus cosine x equals 0. And we're going to set f of x equal to x minus cosine x. And then note f is continuous, we're going to invoke the intermediate value theorem on the interval 0 pi over 2. f of 0, well, f of 0 is 0 minus cosine of 0. Cosine of 0 is 1. So f of 0 is minus 1. f of pi over 2 is going to be pi over 2. Cosine of pi over 2 is 0. Okay. So we have that. So now f is continuous here, this, this, and so 0 is between f of 0 and f of pi over 2, right? It's between these numbers, negative 1 and, and pi over 2. So by the intermediate, I'll spell it, intermediate value theorem, or just IVT, there exists, it tells us a C in the open interval, so in the interval, which in this case is um, 0 pi over 2, such that, right, such that <clears throat> f of C is equal to zero, right? So what does that mean? Right, well, that means that C minus cosine C is equal to zero. So that means that cosine of C is equal to C, right? So we've proven that there exists a C in this open interval of real numbers such that cosine of C is equal to C. Well, I think that's enough to show that it has a solution we've shown Exactly that. So kind of a cool little um, quick proof. Hopefully you've learned a little bit of math and that pretty quickly. Hopefully um, didn't, didn't botch it too much. Um, take care. Keep doing math.